welcome to my video. This is Tip back with another video. Um, so tonight, you guys, I'm going to call this more like, uh, it's kind of late, early, late morning-ish. So I'm going to call it more like a, maybe Midnight Madness. No, I'm just kidding. It's Coffee Talk. A Midnight Madness Coffee Talk. So tonight I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Um, so these questions I got from, like, just people asking me questions, like, from my job, from sending me emails through YouTube, like just question, people keep asking me all these questions, so I figured I'd write them down on my Instagram, all over, so I wrote them down and I'm going to answer them tonight on the video, um, but first, <clears throat> here I go, my throat, my allergies, first I want to give a shout out or kind of like, you know, pour my heart out to Nipsey Hussle and his uh, girlfriend Lauren, Lauren London. Um, and I want to send um, my prayers out to their family and kids, and I am praying for you guys. And, you know, it's kind of sad how people just think that they can just take it into their own hands and take someone's life. That is not cool at all. Um, I'm sending out prayers. You know what? God's got another angel, um, and I'm sending all prayers up to your family and loved ones, your family, friends, and loved ones. I really am. It's so sad. So, 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 so sad. I didn't really know um, Nipsey that well. Um, I did hear his music, like, from my kids as well, my kids and all that, they know who he is. Um, I did know his, uh, girlfriend, um, I knew of her, but I didn't know they were together or anything. I'm old, you guys, but regardless, my heart goes out to their family and friends, and I'm praying for you guys. I, I truly, truly, truly am. I truly, truly am. So, anywho, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, so I got all the questions written down. Um, so I'm going to answer those questions tonight, um, or this morning. It's kind of like midnight slash, so I guess it's kind of like in the morning. I'm just doing it extra, extra early. Midnight Madness um, is what I call it. Anywho, so the first question, I wrote them down. You guys know I'm old. Anyways, I can't remember all those questions anyways. So the first question is, um, do you want more kids? Really? I'm already big, okay? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I don't want any more kids. The answer is no. Um, I have three, and um, they're my youngest is 16, so I think I'm I'm pretty much done. I ask, now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love kids with my all, I really do, and I do want to adopt one day. Um, I think that if um, I do um, meet someone or whatever, hopefully that this person already have kids or they don't really want to have any more kids. I would like to adopt one day if I can, you know, get get reach my goal of finishing nursing school or whatever. And um, hopefully I can ad maybe adopt one day. I don't know. I just want to right now just enjoy life and just not that kids stop you from enjoying your life. But you guys know what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, right now, no, I'm saying no, I don't want any more kids. Um, I can't possibly have any more kids. I know that. Um, so, no, I don't want any more kids. Um your most embarrassing moment. <laughs> what is my most embarrassing moment? I have so many of them. Oh my gosh. Well, one, well, I'll tell you guys. I'll share two. One of them was when I was, um, I think I was in high school. I was here in San Antonio, and I was with some friends. And um, I remember it was Halloween, so we went down to the haunted house. I forget the name of it. Anywho, we were, um, I was dressed up as a waitress. So I had on this little skirt. I remember the striped. It was like a gray and blue green striped skirt, and it was a wrap around. It was really short. I was really small back in the days. Anyways, I had on this little uh, velcro velcro skirt and some net stockings, and I was dressed up as a waitress. And I remember by the time I exited, like I was running from, I think it was Freddy Cougar or something, and it felt as if like I wasn't getting anywhere. The lights were flashing, and I remember I started going crazy. I was going crazy, so I I just wanted to get out. So by the time I reached the exit and everybody was standing outside of the exit and everything, I looked around and I felt a breeze. So I looked down and of course my skirt was gone. I had on nothing but those net stockings and my panties. So it was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. And then another time I was performing at my, my high school, Cole High School um, at Fort, on Fort Sam. And um, I remember performing on the stage. We was dancing to, um, I don't know, I think it was a remix of some. Um, anyhow, we was turning around, doing our little dance and everything. And I felt air. We had on these little um, leather, silver, 
I can't remember what the skorts, skorts, these kids probably don't know what that is. It's like a mix between a skirt and some shorts. And it was like a leather, a silver leather or plastic or it said pleather. Anywho, so I remember going around in circles and I felt air while my skirt bust open. That was like a size one. So I was already small, so I guess this was like a zero. So anywho, I remember as they were turning around again, I was the only one to stay front like smiling trying to smile and just I remain forward and everybody else is turning around in that circle and I was the only crazy one looking crazy on the stage that didn't turn around because I knew that my skirt bust open in the back I mean completely open like you can see my panties you guys it was awful like there was no hiding it so if I turned around I knew that I would flash the whole school so the entire school so I could not turn around anyways it was a disaster it was so crazy we had fun though but we still won second place yeah baby we came in second place so we still did good you you gotta learn how to play it off you know even though i had a tragedy i'm playing it off and we still came in second place um what is my favorite movie um my favorite movie i would have to say is i really liked um, Stella Got a Groove Back, that was a really good movie. I don't know why I like that movie. That one and Pretty Woman, I love those two movies. I love them, absolutely love them. Um, do you sell, Do you see yourself uh, married? I was already married. Um, I already told this, you guys this before in one of my previous videos. Uh, ten and a half years and we divorced um, and went our separate ways. But I am, I would say yes, I am a family person. Um... I love, like, I love hard when I do love, and then, I don't know, I see myself with one man one day in a relationship, and hopefully, yeah, I do get married again. I love, I, I'm all for marriages, you know. I just want to make sure I take my time and it's the right person. So, yeah, I, I do see myself getting married one day. Um, will you date someone older than you? Or will you date someone younger than you? I'm sorry. Um, yes, I would date someone younger than me. Not that young now. I'm not like that. I'm not robbing a cradle. Um, I would go probably, let me see, maybe, maybe the lowest is like two years younger than me. I don't know. That's kind of pushing it for me. But two, maybe, probably two years younger than me. I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever dated anybody that much younger than me, no. Two years would probably be it. Um, and that's pushing it. <laughs> Um, would I date anybody older than me? Yes, I have. Yes, I would. I would date someone older than me. Um, I don't know. Probably 48 is probably like my max. Um, uh, maybe 47. So, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, I would have to say, is pasta. Like Italian food. I love Italian food. I love pasta. And I love seafood, so I would have to say Italian food. Um, the scariest movie that you've seen? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of a chicken. I think, um, what is that movie called? I can't think of the name of it where he's a, uh, oh, Candyman. Candyman, I don't know. That is like a Jeepers Creepers to me, like... <laughs> I absolutely hated that movie, um, and I don't think to this day I've ever watched that entire movie. So I would have to say uh, Candyman was the scariest movie to me. Um, favorite favorite color? What is your favorite color? I would say my favorite color is purple. I absolutely love purple. Uh, purple is my favorite color. Um, your favorite song. Ooh, I have so many song, favorite songs, you guys. Um, I don't know. I have too many. I like country. I like pop. I like uh, Christian. I like jazz. Uh, I like it all. So I don't know. I have too many songs, so I don't know. Um, I like all, all music. Um, what is your pet peeve? Um, I would have to say a dirty house. And also, I have another one, a dirty house, and someone who is always a Debbie Downer, like always, every time you turn around, they're talking about somebody. I mean, I'm not perfect. I won't say that I am. We all talk. Listen, we all talk. But I would have to say that person that's never happy, all they do is 
like try to bring people down, always talking negative about everybody all the time. Um, I don't know. I would just say like people like that. Are you ever happy? Do you ever have anything positive to say? Like, you know, God don't like ugly. So I would say a negative person, someone who's always talking bad at people and always like pointing out everybody else's bad thing. But what about you? Look in the mirror. What about yourself? And then people wonder why their life is not good or their life is not life is not happy for them. Because maybe because you're always trying to bring other people down, you know? Sometimes you need to evaluate your own life. And I say that to me too. So I'm not just saying, you know, other people. Um, and it's also for myself, you know. Sometimes you just need to take a look in the mirror. Um, what is my biggest fear? Hmm. I would have to say... I don't want to leave this earth. Um, I'm saved, but I know that there's a lot of things that I need to work on in life. So... I need to get my life together completely. And also, my biggest fear is spiders. I absolutely hate spiders. I used to have such bad dreams about spiders. Like, if I would see one spider, oh my gosh, like, I would have bad dreams for, like, weeks. I remember one time on my bed, on my pillow, you guys, I had just moved into this house, made my bed and everything, and I had, this was going to be my first night sleeping in this house. How about I see a black widow crawling on my bed I, oh I get the deepest creepers whenever I think about that I'm absolutely freaked out and of course I'm scared of spiders but there's no way I could have let it get away because I was like if I let it get away then I will never know where it's at so I will say absolutely spiders I always have run into spiders and stuff I hate spiders I couldn't even sleep in the house that night like we left the house I went to my parents house we bombed the house and still like for weeks i was so scared to even stay in that house i was like oh my gosh a black widow that's the spider you don't want to see in your window and then one time when i was in georgia uh, i don't know if i was in augusta georgia or fort fort gordon or whatever anywho there was a i don't know if you guys ever seen garden spiders it was a big garden spider it was like a lime green it was bigger than my hand bigger than my foot you guys this thing, I opened my back door because we basically lived in a jungle there. There was like wild boars everywhere. If you had a dog, it was mandatory. You had to have a fence in your backyard because they would ram the fence. And they looked like little piglets, but those were some evil piglets. <laughs> piglets with a twist. Anyways, they would ram your fence. They don't care if it was Rottweilers. They would ram my neighbor's uh, fence trying to get to their Rottweilers. They were not scared of nothing. But anywho, I'm getting off track. Um, one time I opened my back door. And a big old garden spider um, jumped in and tried to attack me. Like, I, something just told me to move, like, honestly, you guys. And I moved just in time so that um, the, and the spider landed on the ground inside the house. And I freaked out because I was like, oh, my gosh. And I took, picked up my shoe, closed my eyes because it tried to run. It tried to run. It was going to get away. So I threw my shoe because I wasn't going to step on it because he was huge. And I just closed my eyes and let, and then thank God the shoe landed right on the spider and like his legs was out. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was disgusting. Anywho, I was so crazy, you guys. I called 911 and they, they hooked me up to animal control. They came out and they said that um, he wouldn't have did anything. They said it was a na that would have been a nasty bite. Like they're, they're not poisonous, but they do leave a nasty, nasty, nasty bite. So anyways, I did have somebody come and spray for bugs. Um... Let me see. Would you date outside your race? What a weird question. Um, yes, I have dated outside my race. Um, I don't I don't see love as a color. Um, as you guys know, I'm a military brat. You don't have to be a military brat. Um, but we got to travel all over the world and it's, you know, all races in the military, so we went to mostly military schools, which is all different races, which most schools are nowadays. But, um, anywho, we, we're being blessed that we got to travel, like, to Germany and different places. Um, I don't know, it's just the norm for us, so we're not, I don't see color as love. Like, love is every color. So, um, yes, I would date outside my race. So, I guess it all depends on who approached me and if I'm feeling that person and if they're feeling me. So, it's all about the inside, not the outside. Because you can be, I don't care what race you be, you are. You can be so ugly on the inside. So it's what's on the inside that counts. Um, who is your hero? Hmm. God is my hero and uh, my parents. 
God, of course, is number one, and my parents. Um, I would say they're equal. Because um, without God, it wouldn't be a me. So, or my parents, you know. So, I thank God. For, God is my hero. Because um, I always think, you know, look at everything that God went through for us. So, thank you, Jesus. Um, I don't even know what that says. Um, what are your regrets in life? My regrets in life... <laughs> Uh, people say they don't have any regrets, but I do kind of have some regrets. Um, I would say not listening to God um, like I should have, you know, because sometimes we we hear what we want to hear. So we say, oh, you know, I'm going to wait for God. I'm going to wait for God. Sometimes we don't really listen to God. We hear we take and run and hear what we want to hear. So um, I would say not listening to God like I should have, you know, really listening. Um What do you enjoy most? I would say um, the outdoors. I love being outdoors. I love like the water. I don't like to get in the water because I'm afraid of what's in that water. <laughs> but I don't mind walk walking by the water. I don't mind maybe sticking my feet in the water. Um, I don't mind like laying on a beach by the water. I love fishing. Um, I love camping in a trailer or a cabin. I'm not in a tent. I'm not a tent person. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't like bugs. I'm afraid of bugs and butterflies. I'm afraid of moths. I'm afraid of ladybugs. Yes, I'm that one. <laughs> and I go crazy. Um, and then I also enjoy uh, wreaths. I love arts and crafts. I love making wreaths. I love making sports wreaths like the Spurs and the Cowboys and the Gators and any wreaths. So if anybody have a challenge for me or want me to... Want me to um, paint a wreath and want to challenge me, let me know. Let's do it. Um, I'll do it. Um, what is your dream vacation? Hmm, I haven't really gotten to take a vacation in a long time. Um, it's my la The last two years of my life have been so, like, a blessing, I will say, because, you know, you learn. You live and learn from everything, but I don't know. I haven't been able to take a vacation like that. Like, some people said, oh, you were out for you know, such and such must, yeah, you guys, but I was out for surgery, you know, I was in pain, I'm still in pain now, my back does still hurt sometimes, but, um, I wouldn't say the surgeries that I had was a vacation at all, it was far from a vacation, I was going through a lot of pain, and I wouldn't wish that on nobody on the face of this earth, and I know there's people that's actually going through a lot worse than me, so I can't even imagine the pain that I went through, crying, can't sleep at night, you're up all day and all night crying, tears, like, that was not a vacation. It was pain. Um, so a vacation, I will say, on my bucket list. I want to go to Seattle. I want to go to New York. Um, I would love to go to the Bahamas. And I want to go see my sister over in Hawaii. So those are places I would love to love to go um, and visit. So we'll see. Whichever lands first. Probably Hawaii would be my first uh, vacation. I used to always say, too, if I can just get a nice room downtown one of those high tower rooms, the real, real nice ones, and just, you know, just get a room and just be there by myself and just sit on the balcony and just relax, maybe have me a cup of coffee or maybe a glass of wine, you guys, I'm not going to front, and just relax for a weekend, one weekend. Um, people might think, oh, Tiff, that ain't nothing, but for me, you guys, that would be such a blessing. That would be even a vacation for me. I would take it all in. It's the little things, you guys, I'm telling you. Um... When when are you going to Hawaii? Really? I already know who that question is for. Seriously? <laughs> who would ask that question? My sister and my brother-in-law. I already know who, who wrote that question. When am I going to Hawaii? You guys, I'm trying so hard to go to Hawaii. Um, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me because, you know, we, we, we all have our own shoes to walk in and we all sometimes choose the road that we walk on. But... Because I was out for uh, for sickness, I was ill for a while. You guys know my story. I'm not going to go back into that. But I was out sick for a while and still trying to um, catch up on a lot of things. And um, and I just got a new car because my car was acting up. And I gave my old one to my son, which we really have a lot of work to do, put in for. 
I'm trying to get caught up on bills. I have no PTO, so I can't just take vacation because even if I save up the money, I still need money to pay my regular bills, my monthly bills. And right now, I have to work, you guys. So as soon as I can get saved up and get on my feet, you guys, I'll tell you Hawaii will probably be my first trip. And I can't wait to see you guys over there and see my little knees. Um, but I'm going to be doing another Q&A. So if you guys can hit me up on my Instagram, um, it's Tiffany. Tiffany, I think, T-I-F-F-N-E-Y, period, W-I-L-S-O-N. I think it's Tiffany Wilson, period, Wilson, or Tiffany Wilson. Anyways, my name is spelled T-I-F-F-N-E-Y, Wilson. Um, so you guys can hit me up on Instagram or, um, or Facebook um, and ask me some more questions. I will be doing another Q&A. Um, stay tuned for my next cooking video and my next prank. Like I say, my pranks take a little bit of time because I like to really plan my pranks out um and i don't like to just do them because i like them to be funny and real you know um i don't like stage stuff that's like fake oh no that's just not me so it takes me a little bit of time because i like to plan it out but um anywho um i want to again send my prayers out to nipsey's family um and i want to say you guys stay blessed and i hope you guys have a blessed 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 day a blessed morning and i will see you guys in my next video please 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 hit the thumbs up button Please, please, please show some love. Hit the thumbs up button if you really enjoyed this video. If not, thank you for watching anyways. Um, please comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so and share this video. And um, I love you guys. And guys, with God first, everything else will fall into place. So whatever you believe in. I'm not that type of person. If you don't believe in God, people might bash me for this. But I still love you anyways. And hey, peace out, you know. It's peace, love, and harmony. So it's whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace. Oh, by the way, you guys, I hope you guys like my hair. I did it today. Um, I'm going to do a hair video. I really want to start making some we uh, some wig weaves. <laughs> I want to make a wig and donate it to somebody, um, somebody that's sick or that somebody that's, uh, was diagnosed with cancer or something. So, um, I don't know if you guys can start like sending me messages or posting on my YouTube underneath a video, someone you know that's uh, has cancer or that's going through it, um, please let me know. So I, I want to donate a wig to somebody that I've made and hopefully bring a smile to somebody's face. And, um, you know, I, I just really, I want to help the next person in line. So, oh, you guys, and by the way, I have an appointment on the 15th. So you guys pray for me. It's my checkup. Um, I have been taking my, well, I wasn't taking my pictures on my back like I was to at first, but I did take one this month. Um, so I have an appointment on the 15th with my surgeon. So you guys pray for me and I'll pray for you no matter what. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace.